County Sheriff's deputy says he's grateful to be alive after a recent shootout. 41 NBC's Elaine Rackley has more on how he and residents are responding to the Saturday shooting. It happened so quick. Crawford County Sheriff Captain Johnny Cleveland says he knows it's a miracle he's alive. Uh, there wasn't time to even think about anything. Uh, it, went, it went by so fast I didn't have time to to get scared or, or worry about anything. Cleveland, along with Lieutenant Keith Edwards and Deputy Delane Hill, responded to a call about a man with a rifle at the Racers convenience store located at the intersection of Highway 80 and Olive Grove Church Road. And as soon as I exited my vehicle, he opened rapid fire on us and we took cover and returned fire. This was the first time Cleveland, a 25-year veteran, has been involved in a shooting. What it felt like to me was like somebody had hit me in the shoulder with a baseball bat, and then it had a burning, stinging sensation, and then I could feel uh, a wet and I assumed to be blood. The other two deputies were not injured. 31-year-old Ricky Smithy spent three days in the hospital. When he was released on Tuesday, investigators arrested him. Smithy is charged with three counts of aggravated assault on a peace officer. Shoshona Roberts lives one mile from the store. She had just heard about the deputy-involved shooting and can't believe it happened in her community. It just makes you kind of nervous. You know, you live right here in the area and you don't, you don't expect something like this to happen in this area. No, we want to be there. We want to be there to help our law enforcement. It makes you feel terrible because, you know, they're, they're out there to protect you. Cleveland says although his family is upset about the shooting, he has no intentions of leaving the job he loves. In Crawford County, Elaine Ragley, 41 NBC News. All three deputies are on paid administrative leave until the GBI investigation is complete.